Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to check if your eSIM is activated or not. It's pretty quick and easy. So let's jump right in. Now, the first thing to do is to make sure to check if your phone is compatible with eSIM. So you can just open up a web browser. And for instance, I have an iPhone 14. So I can just type in i414 and eSIM. And you'll be able to see on here if you scroll down that eSIM is compatible with the iPhone 14. So just make sure that it is compatible either with your iPhone or Android phone or whatever phone you have. Now, the next thing we're going to do is hop into our settings. And you can see right under Bluetooth, there is cellular. So let's tap on that. You'll see I have two different lines here. It says eSIMs, my primary line, and my business line. So let's tap on primary line here. And you'll see the phone number associated with it right above that is AT&T, indicating that this cell plan is through AT&T and the eSIM is through AT&T. So what you can do if you're having questions on whether it's working, you can always toggle this off and then toggle it back on. You'll see at the very top, it switched to SOS, meaning that only emergency calls are available, and then it switches back to the normal cell. So you can try basically making a call, text message, SMS, all that to see if it works on here. Of course, if you do have basically questions on whether it's working, you can always scroll down and hit delete eSIM, and it says, this eSIM will be deleted and it'll no longer be associated with this phone. But you can go through the process of just activating the eSIM again on your iPhone, just kind of reset everything. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.